What is going on guys? Realtalk Gmail here back with another Java programming tutorial and today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making our second official Java program besides you know, our first one was our hello world now we're going to be making a very basic calculator okay it's only going to have one calculation made and it's going to add two numbers together okay now this is very basic and you may already know how to do this but I want to talk about some other stuff in the video so just stay tuned for that <clears throat> now when I talk about methods I mean our main method here and what a method is is public void or int or something and then the name of it and it, it's basically within the class okay and now this is a class uh, that holds all of your methods inside it now last tutorial if you watch that we made variables and we made them inside the main method here now that's alright for that but that makes those variables local to that method okay so if we made like int x we couldn't go and use that variable x inside another method it would not work so in order to make them global we would need to make them outside of a method in the actual class there and that will make them uh, global to all the methods but for now we're just gonna make it in the main method and we can go on later in tutorials on making them global and adding modifiers and all that stuff so we're gonna be making a simple calculator so I'm gonna say is I'm gonna create two variables int num1 we're gonna say it equals 10 right and I'm gonna create another integer int num2 equals 20 now a, a little side note that you can that you can give yourself and I don't actually like doing this because I think it's less organized but you actually don't need to specify the integer again if you're having two integer numbers you can just do a comma and say num2 equals 10 and that will make those both integers but I think that's kinda of confusing and I'm just gonna stick to doing int num2 equals 20 right <clears throat> so now we can easily say is system dot out dot print line num1 plus num2 and if we play it as you can see in console it says 30 which is actually correct so if we said you know 400 plus 234 and we press play it gets 634 so that is a very basic calculation but that is something that we can do now we can also because we don't really like at making calculations programmers don't really like making calculations within a st uh, uh, like like a, a statement that goes outwards we're gonna say int <coughs> answer equals num1 plus num2 and then in here we're just gonna say answer so now if we run it we get 634 now it's important that you make this integer answer below the num1 and num2 because as you can see now it doesn't actually know num1 and num2 at this point when the code is compiled num1 and num2 don't exist right because code is compiled from top to bottom so you need to actually have the answer variable below the num1 and num2 there so that's basically it go leave a like go and subscribe next tutorial we will be getting into inputting our own answers or our own numbers into it in the program itself and adding it from there so I hope you guys learned something and I will see you guys next time peace <laughs>